Jamie, hurry up. Hey, no fair. I was winning. I don't want to play this stupid game. What's the matter, Jamie? Nothing. You're worried about your mom, aren't you? What if my dad can't keep his promise? What if my mom ends up going to prison forever? It's not gonna happen. You don't know. Yes, I do. My dad is the best lawyer in the whole world. Don't worry. Your mom's gonna be okay. But what if she's not? Then... Then you'll always have us. We'll stick together, right? Very well, Miss English. Could you please tell the court how many times you've been married? Objection. The defendant's marital history is immaterial to the On case. On the contrary, it's germane to my line of questioning. Both counsels approach. Mr. McLean, where are you going with this? My colleague has painted a very convincing portrait of a young woman who played a submissive role in a destructive relationship. It is my intent to prove just the opposite. Sir, sir I know. I'll allow it. The witness will answer the question. I was married three times. Three times. Three marriages and three divorces. Adam Chandler and Tad Martin, they're among your ex-husbands. Is that correct? Yes. How would you describe these men? Uh, simple, complex? I think a one-word description wouldn't be fair to either one of them. Well, you used one word to describe Jim Thomason, uh, and I think that word was monster. Yes. That's what he was. Did Adam Chandler ever behave monstrously? He didn't victimize children. Did he victimize you? Manipulate you? There were times. So your relationship was difficult and complicated. What about Tad Martin? Was your marriage to him difficult? Did you suffer unduly? All marriages have their ups and downs. Some more than others. How long were you married to Tad Martin? About a year. Not very long. Was your relationship complicated? Oh. I mean, there were instances. So your relationships with Mr. Chandler and Tad Martin were complicated and difficult? And I guess it's safe to say that uh, your relationship with Jim Thomason followed the same pattern. And yet you failed to recognize the warning signs. I, w I wasn't myself after the crash. Okay, we'll, c we'll come back to that. Why did your marriage end in divorce, uh, the one with Adam Chandler? That's personal. So is murder, Miss English. Uh, objection, Your Honor, Counselor. Can I use the word murder? The jury will disregard Mr. McLean's last remark and save the editorials or I'll cite you for contempt. The witness will answer the question. My marriage to Adam Chandler ended because of his infidelity. And your marriage to Ted Martin? Your Honor. Mr. McLean, where are you going with this? I'm merely trying to establish the common thread that runs through her relationship with men. It will give the needed context with her relationship to the victim. I'll allow it, but get to the point and do it quickly. Please answer the question. My relationship, my marriage to Tad Martin ended because of another woman. To clarify, both of your marriages ended because your husbands cheated on you? Yes. And how did you feel when you found out that they were unfaithful? How do you think I felt? Just answer the question, please. I felt betrayed, naturally. Were you angry? Yes. Did you know the woman that Adam Chandler slept with? Yes. Can you state her name for the record? Dixie Cooney. And the woman that Tad Martin betrayed you with? Dixie Cooney. Dixie Cooney, the same woman. Pardon me, Miss English, but isn't it true that Dixie Cooney is younger than you? Oh, you're wrong. Oh, that's ridiculous. Objection. Order. 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 Miss English, do you recognize this? Those are the pictures that Jim took of my daughter. Your adopted daughter. 
Did Jim enlarge these? No, I did. I cropped them and had them enlarged. Why? To bring home a point. I wanted to let Jim Thomason know that I knew he was scum. Why didn't you just tell him instead of going to an extreme? Because he had an excuse for everything that he did. And I wanted to... I wanted to force a confession out of him. But you already knew he'd taken the photos your daughter told you. It wasn't enough. I wanted to hear it from him. Your daughter is very beautiful and obviously very young. Your Honor, overruled. This line is well established. And so, Miss English, even though you knew that Jim Thomason took the photos and your daughter told you, it wasn't enough. As you say, you had to hear it from him. Because yet another man you had cared for had, in a sense, betrayed you with another woman. Yes, I felt betrayed because... because of my feelings, because of my stupidity, that I fell in love with a man who was, who was just a sick and twisted human being. Don't say too much, Rookie. But I never blamed my daughter. I blamed Jim. He took advantage of her youth and her innocence. He made a living victimizing children. Ms. English, could you please tell us about your sex life with Jim Thomas? Oh, for crying out loud, you're on into the council's turning this joint into a peep show. The relationship between the defendant and the victim is at issue. I'm merely trying to follow the same line of questioning that the opposing counsel started. Objection overruled. Sit down, Mr. Dillon. Ms. English, your relationship with Jim Thomason, did it include sex? Yes. Did you enjoy sex with Jim Thomason? Yes, in the beginning. Did your discovery of the luggage end your relationship, your sexual relationship with the deceased? No. You suspected your lover was guilty of blowing up a plane that killed your friend Maria, yet you continued to be intimate. Because I wasn't sure he was guilty, I just, I... I, I didn't have any proof. I, I, I had doubts, that's all. Did you continue to have sex with the deceased even after you learned that Mateo Santos was attacked and Jim might have been responsible? Answer the question, yes or no? Yes. Are you addicted to sex, Miss English? No. Your suspicions notwithstanding, you continued to have sex with Jim Thomason even after you accepted his marriage proposal. You have to understand, I accepted his proposal of marriage so I could put to rest any suspicions that he might have had. I couldn't let him know that we were on to him. We had to set him up. We, we had to get the proof that he, that he was guilty. There goes the ball game. You set him up? Yes. You had to keep him busy thinking about other things while you gathered your proof. Yes. And so you used sex to do this? Because I thought he was becoming suspicious. And so you had sex with him. You had sex with Jim Thomason to set him up. You had sex with Jim Thomason to entrap your victim. Oh, Your Honor. May I suggest to you, Miss English, and the Not ladies and gentlemen of the jury, here. that was a very cold, calm, with a premeditated what? move on your part. Show here, Your Honor. Order. Order in this court. There's no right to do this to the witness. Order. Order in this courtroom. The April 1995 issue of Tempo magazine had a feature cover story on uh, teen prostitution and child pornography. Who wrote that article? I did. And did you do the research on the subject? Yes, of course. So you know, based on your research, uh, how young girls and young boys, uh, innocent virgins, are lured into the business. Laura's mother was sick. She needed money for medical attention. No one's judging Laura. She was just a young girl. I understand. Since you researched the article, you're familiar with the unfortunate practice used to break these children into the life. Yes. Tell us how that happens. In most cases, a pimp or a broker has sex with a young girl in order to establish a power base. When did you first suspect Jim Thomason had sex with your daughter? Never. Really? But you just told us that the broker has sex with the girl in order to establish his power. <laughs> you saw the compromising photos. You, you had them enlarged. You uh, admitted your feelings of betrayal. 
But you swear that it never crossed your mind that Jim Thomason and your daughter had sex? It never happened. Then why did you send Laura away? To protect her. Where's Laura now? She's in China. She's traveling with family friends. She doesn't even know that I'm up on charges of murder. Thomason's dead. You eliminated the problem. Uh, why not bring her home? I plan to do that when this is over. Do you mean when she's over Jim? No, she hated Jim. We only have your word on that. How do we know that Laura and Jim didn't have sex, uh, even under your own roof? Oh, Your Honor. It didn't happen. Your Honor. Maybe you sent Laura away not to protect her, but because you were jealous. You wanted to keep her away from your fiance. You're, you're oh, twisting everything. Your, your Honor. You don't, you don't well, know. Your Honor, I'll clear this courtroom. Your Honor, we. Mr. Dillon? Yes. Your objection is sustained. Thank you, Your Honor. Did you take that gun to punish Jim Thomason because he slept with your daughter? No. But it is true that your marriage to Adam Chandler ended it because he betrayed you with the younger woman. And it's true that your marriage to Tad Martin failed because he betrayed you with the younger woman. It is true that you felt betrayed by the men you loved. You've admitted that under oath. You've admitted that you loved Jim, that you wanted Jim, that you wanted to keep him to prevent being betrayed, especially by your own daughter. That's a, a, a lie. That's a, a terrible lie. Your Honor, I object. That's obscene. You shot Jim Thomason because you were not good enough. You shot him because you were not hot enough. You shot him because you weren't young enough. You killed Jim Thomason because he was leaving you for greener pastures. And you'd be damned if he was going to walk away, not like the other. So you aimed your gun and you shot him dead. Isn't that right? No. Isn't that the real reason why you shot Jim Thomason? No. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children.